So I wanted to cover the skills that we have gone over with Mr. Loop so that you've got one space that you can go to to review everything. So this first exercise is called Relax on a Mat. And what we're looking for from Mr. Loop, perfect, is perfect. He goes into, uh, over to his mat and he goes into a relaxed body posture. So what that looks like is him and his D-O-W-N here and with his little chin resting down on the mat, and that is perfect. So this is a desensitization and counter conditioning exercise. This will allow Mr. Loop to work through any sort of emotions that get him too wound up and too excited. So I've had folks use this for dog friendly hotels, for plane rides, and any sort of situation where your dog gets too excited. You can break out your mat, um, work on relaxing the mat and allow them to work through those big emotions. When you are done with your exercise, you'll pick up the mat and this is a command free exercise. I never say anything, it's just the mat is the cue that he knows we're doing this exercise. So this is perfect, it's exactly what we're looking for. Next, I'm going to take a treat, toss it off the mat. Here you go, bud. Go get it. Get that treat. Go get it, bud. And we will move on. Here you go, bud. So next I want to go over our name game exercises. So just cultivating a really strong name response. Loop! Perfect. So as soon as Loop makes eye contact, we'll click for that moment. Next I'm just going to wait until he's distracted and say his name. You can also create a distraction by dragging a treat out to the side. Loop. And you still got to come back and make eye contact, which is um, challenging. And we'll take a treat, toss it on the ground. Loop. On this one, the last one, I want him to make a 180 degree turn and come back towards me. Uh, then I'd like to parlay that into um, just some great recall. Loop. Come. Good job. On recall, you can click as soon as he looks at you. Also, um, a clicker isn't necessary. You could also just give him a treat when Luke comes up after doing his recall. With recall, you want to start to develop longer and longer distances to make it more challenging. Also, bring him into more challenging environments like the great outdoors. Luke, come. Oh. Luke, sit. Down. Loop. Stay. Free. Um, so free is his release cue. Let's him know he has accomplished his task. Loop. Space. This is our anti-jumping exercise. Loop. Space. We got a little distracted, a little too close. So we'll give him another shot on this one. Loop. Space. Much better. Then we'll try one from behind. Loop. Space. So I actually have not considered that acceptable. We'll try that again. Loop. Space. right outside of my bubble, that's perfect. Um, so you want to try some from the front, some from the side, some from behind, and allow Mr. Loop to make just a, a big bubble around yourself where he can give you space. Um, so you can use this for yourself, also use it for someone else. Loop, come. Wow. Oh. Loop. So we'll do this one from the side so you can see his Leave it. Lead it. Lead it. Try one more. Lead it. So what you're looking for.
working on that is that real definitive pullback um, in that moment. So we started initially working with a closed fist, then got to where we were just opening our hand, which is much more challenging for the little guy. Loop, touch. And lastly, this is our targeting exercise. So we just want to be able to get Loop to go wherever we want by just putting our hand down and having him come up and um, bump our hand with his nose. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, so next, we're going to um, get him leashed up and then we'll go outside and go over his loose leash walking. Um, we spent uh, a lot of time on our loose leash walking and um, we'll sign off here and then move on to that because that'll take just a moment here.